Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. Now, you can do this for any Android device, but uh, this is how you do it specifically for the 8.4. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into settings. So we're going to swipe down from right here, and we're going to go into the settings category. And from here, we are going to go to general, which is at the top right. And then we're going to go to about device. Now from here, we're going to tap build number until we see a new category pop up here, which is uh, supposed to be about seven times. So, and now we have developer options. Uh, the reason why you want this is because basically you can do different things to your phone. However, if you don't know what you're doing in this area, don't do anything except for what I tell you. First thing I would usually do when I'm here is turn on USB debugging. This allows your device to be essentially an external flash drive and memory card reader so that you never have to take out your memory card in order to drag and drop content to or from a computer on here and uh, other things to help out uh, if you wanted to move uh, movies or anything like that to the device itself, you can. Then we're gonna scroll down till we get to these three scales. Uh, so you have animation window, transition, and animator uh, duration. And you're gonna set each of these instead of 1x to 0.5x. So we're gonna tap each of these and we're gonna change each of them right then and there. And then from here, you're gonna see an immediate improvement in how content moves. Uh, it just will uh, speed up tremendously uh, overall on its transition, except for this you know, new interface that it has. But overall, it will speed up the device uh, very nicely. So it does a very good job of that. And uh, the last bit though, is your home button still isn't as fast as it could be. Well, to fix that, we double tap it and launch S Voice. This unfortunately is what's causing the delay for uh, this section. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hit the menu button and go to settings and we're gonna disable the double tap via the home key. Now, if you wanna use S Voice, by all means do uh, have it on an icon on your home screen, but now you're gonna see that the home press is actually gonna go faster. So now I'm gonna go like this you see there's less of a delay and there's more and more uh, less of a delay as time goes on. So it's really nice for that. And again, if you want S voice, you know, put it on the icon right here and then use it as freely. All right. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please give a like thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.